Uh, it's your boy King Tank, and in this video, this is gonna be the last game I add to um, the games that I play on this channel, <laughs> at least for now, because I keep adding games, and I gotta focus on what I'm gonna focus on. So what I'm gonna focus on is, is gonna be Pokemon Go, Pokemon Duel, uh, Star Wars Force Arena. I'm, I'm gonna try to play a little bit more of that, but I've realized that I'm not the best player at it. I mean, I, I'm decent. But I don't know, it just doesn't hold my attention long enough for me to keep trying. Like, I just, like, play one match and then get off, even if I win or lose. <laughs> but I'll try to see if I can, you know, think of some more strategies and get back into it. And then it's that and uh, Contest of Champions, of course. But I'm probably not going to make many videos on that game because it's already a lot of YouTubers on that. There's some decent ones that I really watch, and I'm just like, I don't know. I feel like I don't really want to jump into that pool. And then... The SAO game, I'm getting ready to be able to do, I almost got 250 jewels up again, so I can be able to do another uh, 11 times uh, some of the video. Might do another video on playing styles because I figured out a new way to play that's working really good. But the game that I'm talking about right now, which I'm sure you know by now because you've seen the name of the video, is Walking Dead's No Man Land. This game is extremely fun. I started playing in it. I mean, started playing it. Uh, I started playing it a couple days ago. Well, no, actually, I started playing it yesterday, and it's been really fun. So, I'm going to show you real quick a little, little how-to, little, you know, quick how-to video on how to play for beginners. Because I mean, I am a beginner, but what's been, what I've been doing is working. So, I'm going to put that out there for you guys. And as soon as I get some good stuff to make videos on, you know, because I'm about to get, I'm about to get really into the game. As soon as I find some good stuff to make videos on, I'm going to make videos on it. I'm going to try to put out videos as often as possible so I can have a lot of videos out on all of the games that I'm playing because I'm playing uh, because I'm playing so many. I just got to get my schedule together, get everything down, uh, get everything down packed the way I want it to be so my channel can be moving smoothly where I want it to go. But all right, so I'm going to show you exactly what I've learned so far about how to play this game. Let's see. All right, here we go. This is what I got so far. Some things, some important things that I want to point out before we even get into the gameplay is when you get your farms, don't forget to collect those. When you get your tents, don't forget to collect those. I already recently collected it, so it didn't have the thing at the top, but I just want to show you collect it. Also, outside your fence, there'll be walkers. They'll put the green circle around the one you can click. You just click on the one with the green circle around it, and you get stuff. You get free stuff easily. They pop up all the time, so just watch it, and you'll see tons of free stuff popping up for you, and that's all, yep. Something important, make sure you get your farmland, farmlands and upgrade those because food is important. This mission car, what this does is, this is how much energy you can hold because this gas thing, that's, how, that's your energy. It refills over time or whatever, you know, when you use it all up. Or whatnot, but you also get it a lot when you're doing when you do missions. So, so far since I've so far I've been playing for a couple days, and uh, I still haven't run out of energy yet. So, not really sure if you ever run out of energy, but it can be upgraded to get more. I mean, I'm sure you can run out of energy, but I haven't yet. This is the radio tent, which you got to be a certain level to get. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna end the video with this. Uh, choose choose from two with a better chance of Daryl tokens just to, you know, open something up or whatnot. Let's see, what's this choose from three at Bridge Radio Time? I might just do that. Nope, don't have 7,600 food yet. All right, so they have the hospital, which is where your people who are hurt are healed. Uh, you only can heal one at a time until you upgrade it to level three. That's what that second slot is for, so you can heal more than one at a time. And right now mine is only level one or two. Either way, it's, it's level one. So right now I can't heal more than one. Over here is the workshop, which is one of the places you get. And you upgrade weapons here or armor. You, and they have a different set for each class. The assault class, which is the bullets. Scout class, which is the knife. The bruiser class, which is the riot shield. 
and the hunter class, which is gun. I mean, which are I mean, which is the sight gun sight. And these weapons are spread fire weapons, weapons that hit multiple enemies. Uh, hunter weapons are high uh, high hit points. Like they, I mean, they have. I mean, they take away a lot of health. Strong and but they also lure in walkers as well as the assault also lures in walkers too because they both make noise. But this is for spread damage. This is for low, but multiple hit damage. And this is for one. I mean, for single target, uh, single target high damage. Then it's the blunt force objects. I mean, these people have high health and they have blunt force objects, and usually they stun when like when they get attacked, they hit them back and they stun them. And then it's the scout which has a uh, which is also a single target weapon, but they have high chances of crit of crits as well as they have really good damage. Most scout class uh, pl uh, characters over here it says radio. This is how you get to where you can summon warriors or whatnot or whatever you want to call them fighters, survivors, which is what they're actually called survivors. But <laughs> this is where you see how many survivors you have. I would say try to keep a good amount of them so that way when they're being healed up like Tim is right now. Like I just went in a, a mission with Rufus, Tim, and Vernon. Vernon and Tim both had got hurt and they were both healing. And if it wasn't for the fact that I was trying to make this video, I would have jumped into a quest immediately. And what? And since I'm training Rufus and Tim and Vernon were healing, I'd have just jumped in with Daryl, Oscar, and Mario. And like out of, out of all of the ones I have so far, out of all the ones I have so far, my favorites are Daryl, and Rufus and they're both also heroes so they have leadership abilities which I'll show you that when I get ready to go into a quest but also right here is equipment which is a quick way to get to the workshop which is how you upgrade weapons you click one and then right here where it says equipment upgrading it'll say uh, do you want to upgrade the equipment or instant upgrade for gold and you can press that and you could do so and let me see quests this is right here where your achievements and things pop up at so you can see different things you can do to get free gold which is awesome because there's a lot of things you can do to get free gold i mean i've got a bunch uh another walker outside anymore nope okay right here you see oops crap it's so easy to slide these things that's something that's a little annoying but you see these two green arrows that right there is telling you that you can upgrade it see i have 400 food so i can upgrade it so boom so now it's upgrading also, you can remove these things just by doing that, pressing that, and it'll take away some food, and it'll get rid of it in seconds. That's the council. That is like town halls or whatever is the main building in your game. You use you upgrade this to be able to upgrade other buildings or to gain more buildings. Let's see. This is supply storage. This is where it says how much food you can store. Right now, my storage capacity is 2,500, but if I upgrade it another level, I can hold 7,500, which I do, I actually do need to do. Supply storage, I also have this one, so I can hold 2,500 more, which is why right now I can hold 5,000. But if I upgrade both of them, then 7,500 plus 7,500 is 15,000, and that's what I'll be able to hold instead of 5,000 like, like I can now. Anyway, that's all of the little, you know, environmental things. I just thought I could try to click that person. <laughs> Never tried that yet. Also down here in the bottom left corner is the shop. You can buy buildings here. If you uh, if you haven't bought them all already for your level, you can, this is where you can buy gold. And trade is where you trade in crates, which I haven't gotten in any yet that I know of for things. And they also give you a free silver crate. Which, and I'm not really sure how often they do it. I guess they probably do it with the restock. So, it's But that's something that's pretty cool. They have guilds on here. If you're watching this video, feel free to join my guild. I try to do this in every game I play. But considering I'm not that big of a YouTuber, they don't usually fill up so quickly. Like other ones do. But it's called True Royalty. You know, the banner says destroy all under the banner of royalty and have fun doing it. But this is my guild. I just started it yesterday when I made it. And advertise. Advertise for one day or until your guild is full, whichever comes first. Find more members guild by advertising it to other players. Ad will be shown to players without a guild in the search tab. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so I'll probably do that after I post this video. But, uh, 
Okay, so how long does it stay? Oh, for one day or until you're full. All right, so there's a news tab right here where you can see like, you know, different missions and stuff that's going on. You can see your profile right here. My classes. I don't have a shooter or warrior. I'm mean, a shooter or a warrior yet. So I class to know more. Oh, okay. So you can't know more until you get to unlock, I mean, complete a certain chapter. Okay, because I have an assault. Rufus is an assault player. But all right, so let's get into the gameplay. Oh, of course, you know, up top here is food and the silver stuff is experience and there's gold. Food is what you buy stuff with. I mean, experience is experience, obviously. And the gas cans, that's uh, energy that you can use to run missions. But anyway, so you can see what current um, chapter you're on. You can press that and it'll show you and it'll show you what you get for completing it. You can press continue and it'll take you straight on into the missions. Then you click your latest one. That is my latest one, right? Yeah. All right. So select team. Right now, my team is going to be Daryl. Do I want to leave Vernon and Tim? Or do I want to leave Oscar or Mario in there? Um, I'm going to keep Vernon and Tim because I'm going to go for I'm going to go for uh, heavy damage, quick kills. That's what I'm going to go for. All right, because if I if if I if I was playing with somebody like Rufus who's making who's going to make a lot of noise, I would play Mario who is tanky. He got a lot of health. I put him in front of everybody so he could take the damage while we take them out from behind. You know, if you if you have a team with a shooter, it's good to have uh, tankier uh, people so that they could you know take out take out people. Wait, let me see. Right, we need to close these doors. Secure the location. Different missions have different uh, goals. And right now, this one wants me to close these doors. Now, this isn't safe. But right now, oh, okay. I'm just going to move him right here. And in turn, Walker's turn. Oh, somebody came through. Okay, so I'm going to take him out, which is going to gain the attention of the other two. So I probably shouldn't have, <laughs> probably shouldn't have uh, did, did this the way I did it. Yeah, I shouldn't have. Cause they're coming in like crazy. Uh, but I'll just take them boys out with the. Oh, so both of the doors should be closed. Closed. Yes. All right. Now what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna take. Oops. No, that is not what I was. That was annoying. Okay. So what I was trying to do was this. Boom. Shoot. And then take him out. Stab. Um. Not. Hopefully that takes him out. Yeah. It took him out. But now Daryl's taking pointless damage because I wasn't trying to do that. That's all good, though. Because I'm going to go for two-shot. Boom. And boom. Let's get him all the way over here. Let's see. Take that out. Boom. Close that door. Boom. In turn. Boom, I'm gonna put that right there. I'm gonna put him right here. Nah, that's not smart. They might come from the bottom in my turn. Take him out, good night. In turn. And close, let's go. That's the last of them talk to me more about uniform. And you can read all this stuff if you want to. Kill 200 walkers, that's crispy. And victory. Different missions have different, different goals, different purposes. But overall, you have to kill walkers and keep it moving. Now, something that they do after every mission is they show you these crates. You could pick three and you open them. I'm going to open three. Boom, that's some pretty nice stuff. You can watch a video to, you can watch a video to, you know, get something free. Probably shouldn't have did this because I'm in a video. And Be so, right since I watched that, I can open three more. Boom, boom, boom. And I get three more prizes. Oh, nice. Not sure. Let's see if see if I can use that. And then you can also pay 25 gold to get more. I mean, to open the last three, but I'm not going to do that. Because there's no reason to. The prizes in those boxes are pretty good, but they're not that good to be able to play, pay 25 gold, you know, per mission. Go back to the camp. 
I want to see if I can use something. First, I can go to my quest tab, accept that free gold. That's that. Go to equipment. No, not equipment. Go to survivors. Now, if you want to see if you can uh, give somebody something better, it says an exclamation point. It puts a green box around the number, and it has an exclamation point, like it does right here on Rufus, right here. Yeah, so you can click that to see, and you click the weapon, and you would change it to the weapon that you, I mean, the, the stronger weapon. But, of course, I'm not going to change it, because it's a three-star weapon. I just have to upgrade that weapon, because it's awesome. At least, I'm hoping it's awesome. <laughs> but, anyway, let's see. You can see how many points you have for each class. I have zero assault uh, class points. I got 14 for scout. I got 14 for bruiser, and I have none for hunter. But you can, uh, but what you could do with those points is right here. You see, 14 out of 60. Because once I get more, I can upgrade their skills. I'm gonna upgrade their traits. Unless they're a hero, then to upgrade their traits, you need more of their tokens. Because each, you know, actual character from the show has their own token tokens, and they have a lot of characters from the show on here main one I really want is Michonne. That would be freaking awesome. But yeah, they have a lot of characters from the show and more coming soon. But uh, so that's everything about the general how to play. I'll make another video on playing styles as soon as possible. Probably tomorrow. But uh, so that's it for... That's it for today. For this video, that's everything that's important that you can do as of right now in the game. And with and on that note, I'm out. You know who it is. It's your boy King Tank. We got shot for no reason. Now I'm out. P.S. When I was talking about those experience points, those experience points were leveling for leveling up heroes or characters or whatnot. The actual level of your self is actually they're actually called building points and they're the green circle that's around the number that's in the top left corner like way over there when you're playing the game so just want to clear that up no i'm out Back shot.